I was listening to a podcast the other day. We've actually had um, Hugh Van... Oh, Van Kallenberg. Yes, from The Imperfects. I don't know if you've listened um, to much of it, Fitzy, but our very own Whippa was... He was on one of the episodes. It was yes. actually really nice. Oh, thank you. I have to say. I did a, a lap around Centennial Park um, and had a listen to, to you talking they about... They do a good job oh. with Ryan Shelton there. Yes, Ryan Shelton. He's Josh. A, you did radio with Ryan. Yes. Yep. Where was that? Here at Nova. How many years ago was that? On this, on this station. On this station. I think you were working at the time. No, I wasn't. Oh, no, you I think here. it was in between. It wasn't right. in between when I did American Rosso and then when I came back. Um, I'm not across your career either. For <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not. You did some stuff on TV, but besides yeah, well, that, yeah, I know nothing. I think you've spoken a lot. I don't know what your name is. Um, no, but I, I wanted to uh, ask you about it because it, a, lot of, a lot of what was on the podcast was actually quite emotional and you talked about your mental health and yep. all of that and I, I have to say I've been meaning to listen to it for a while you know what whips like it, it tends to kind of um, bug you if you haven't taken interest yeah. taken an interest in his he'll career keep, have you, he'll keep emailing you yeah have you listened to the yes, podcast yes I, I have I haven't what listened what was your favourite I haven't bit? listened to the whole thing <laughs> first five it. minutes and then I tuned out that was about it I know, no, no <laughs> it is it's great no, it is, it's a great episode there was but what was your favourite bit was it the bit at the <laughs> end that I'm about the, to was tell you about I thought the Introduction to Whipper was really good, <laughs> and, and then After mate, that, thanks for joining us today. Subscribe at the end, and yes. then it drifted off. No, it, there was something you spoke about at the end, which I wanted mm. to talk to you about, and I knew Fitzy wouldn't be across it. I knew Fitzy hadn't listened to it, but it was something that you were talking to Ryan Shelton about, and I. I don't know why it hasn't kind of made the Daily Mail or whether we ha- why we haven't spoken about it um, previously. And it was something that you gave him. Let ha- oh. Yeah, have a listen. I've done something creatively. What that have you done? I've never spoken to anybody about. Oh, yeah. But I have it here gift-wrapped for you. What? Okay. A book? Yeah. Of some sort, white, soft, uh, paperback. Yeah. Book. Um, I wrote an erotic novel <laughs> <laughs> called The Far Too Personal Trainer. Have you seen how many people in media have been writing kids' books? <laughs> Who's writing for the adults? I... <laughs> His name's Ben Holder, and he's in love with this girl called ben. Emily Shine. But his reputation is terrible. He's a pig of a man. Because he trains these women, they start to feel good, and then all of a sudden they think about who made them feel good. Ben did. Now, why haven't we heard about Ben Holder before? I was wondering if this would ever go. But do you know what was proof? What I think is hilarious is you've probably been okay. asking Fitzy what he thought of the podcast, and if he'd actually listened, surely he would have, surely he have would have brought the up the erotic novel before. Well, have you I heard just, about this? I, no, I, I did. I, someone did mention something to me. I haven't, I, I haven't listened to it. Explain something. No, have you written an erotic novel? It's or is a, it a joke? It's a novel about a guy who's growing up. Yes, I have written it. What? How many? Pa- yeah. you, you writing a book? You can't read a book. <laughs> how, <laughs> can't spell even, either. Even Nigella Lawson knew that. It's yeah. It's, a, it's like an erotic fiction, like, and it's a story, like it says in that audio, about a guy Ben. But Ben goes through because he's training these girls, and he's a good-looking guy. He's twenty-six years old, blonde hair, six foot two. He lives with his mate, and it's a story based here in. I, this was like twenty fourteen. I wrote this book. And how many how many pages is it and how it's many like, copies of it are there? There's no copies. Well, who did you give one to Ryan? Yeah, but I just printed it. Did well, someone write it for you? No, you, I wrote no. it. Yeah, there's a ghost writer. There's sure. not a ghost <laughs> to be a ghost Because it's not about me. It's a made-up story about this guy. But then the, the thing is, what you learn through the book is the reason he doesn't treat people very well is because he got his heart broken because he did the wrong thing to this girl, Emily Shine, that he's in love with. But she goes off and marries somebody else. So it's a story of personal growth with a little bit of naughty stuff. I, I hope you haven't written this at work because I don't think that's well, fit Kate, for work. Sorry, as an author... I I ask you to step back and 
<laughs> and don't cheapen what is. There has to be a personal side to There's this. There's no though. personal side. You have to, to it. because if you're writing anything, no. even this well, is I from wrote, the heart. I just couldn't wait to meet you. That was about the arrival yeah. of my daughter. That's fine. If you're writing about a guy who's had his heart broken and then treats everyone like rubbish and thinks he's a bit of all right. Okay. What it, do you think it, I have in common with a six foot two blonde personal trainer? Um, well, a, no, a no, low libido. No, no, it's the person that you want to be. <laughs> nah, this guy's this guy's a bit of a shocker. Can you I just bring, Can I say this? There's money in. There is big money in erotic novels. He's no Mills or Boone. No. Interesting you mention that because at the time that I wrote, and I'll be completely honest here, I think I read an article that said something like Fifty Shades of Grey makes a million dollars every four hours. Is that true? And I went. Oh, I could do that. It's all about making money. But have you seen thought, it is? Is this another oh, hairbrain idea? I could, thought, I could do that. Yeah, but oh, it's, it's, Fifty Shades of Grey is like that. How, uh, well, you still haven't told no, me how many it's, pages it's is like your... 200 and, I don't know, 260, 280 pages. How, how, the print. how erotic does it get? Oh, it's erotic. What do you see? So if you can imagine it. It's in the book. What do you? What in do you, detail? Where did you think that you could write an erotic novel and earn a million dollars every forty minutes? Do you know though? I, just, I was talking. I this is the, the, Lily, um, the, uh, my makeup artist who I work with sometimes. Does she want to go? No, that was, he, that was no. his ex-girlfriend. No, well, well maybe it was. Hang on, hang on, hang she, on. We were laughing the other day. I mean, not laughing at them, but like talking about the fact that they're like people do um, erotic novel like. Uh, book swaps and things like Do that. They? Like this, I think if we have a look, Sick Tommy, eyes. get onto it now. Like a, yeah. book like a Mossman, Mossman Mothers exchange. Oh, there, erotic isn't novels. It a, isn't it? A, isn't it a boomer thing? Like, isn't it a young girls right, uh, reading oh, erotic novels now? I mean, oh, Fifty yeah. Shades was massive. Yeah. I understand that. Or, but Mills and Boone, Mum used to read that with her friends. She? But was that erotic or was that just like no, that Mills, romantic? Mills and Boone was very erotic. Is there a difference wasn't? between erotic and romantic? I suppose so. The far too personal trainer has both. Um, romance. Both romance and, and, and a lot of loving. Can we yeah. use that? Can I pitch it? Can hmm? I, did you pitch it to anyone? No. Didn't do anything with it. Where Have you got that's a copy at home? Don't tell me there's one in the office because that's gross. <laughs> Is there a publisher that we can actually send it to, Tom? No, Tom. Well, would you, would you, would you let us read some? If I... I'm not reading You can it. read some. I'm no, not reading it. No, 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 no. You brought this up. No. You have to read it. No, I'm sorry, Kate. Tom, you no. are the one that has to read I'm it. I'm not reading out from Whipper's fantasy. It's at not 8 my 8.30 no, in the no, morning. No, 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 no. Thank you. It's not my fantasy. It's a story, Kate. I'm a writer. Well, I'm a t- oh, oh, weird. It's a creative Okay, well, let's expression. see how we go. You, Kate Ritchie. You need a vision first, so you've obviously been thinking about if it for you, a while. If you wanted to write a novel or a story about war, then you would creatively think think what it was like in war and you would detail what you that's thought it would be same. like. You have, that's, you that's have no experience at all at war. I know none I don't. At all, or but loving. If you, none at all. But if you took yourself there creatively you would paint a picture. And as an artist, as an author that's what I've done in the far too personal oh, training. I think we been. need to be the judge of right. that. Oh my I, god, Kate Ritchie what have you done? And I'm also picking up 2014 must have been a <laughs> rough year in your relationship. <laughs> Tommy, who could read? Are there books? Yeah. Clubs out there. Can there we are. find out, yeah. out if there's a? Let's see how many stars it might get out the, there in the, the Sydney, suburbs. The Sydney Book Society guys. Oh, they, yeah. what do they, do? Sort of, they they read racing well, let's books. Get Jane Caro or something oh, like yeah. that. Yeah. Jane oh, I could like read it. Out. No, Kate needs to well, read it. Well, why don't we out. do this time tomorrow? Why don't we read the, the well, cleaner? I, I would the have to parts. pick the part. Yeah. Tommy, yeah. maybe you're in charge of censor. Okay. So Tom can be like. Sure. Oh, is it that bad? Oh, it's got everything. Well, we what wouldn't read that. Is what? it that creative? Is what you're saying? Oh, so the intimacy you go into explicit details. It's an erotic novel, Ryan. You are a sicko. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> so did I. So did I. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Kate, I couldn't help but think about you last night. Um, That sounds a bit wrong. Well, you're only human. Um, I was just a bit thrown. I mean, we've been talking about the the erotic novel that I wrote back in 2014, and now it's come to light. But, you know, if we're going to hit print on this and we've got approval from um, work that we're going to go for 500 copies, right? Have we got enough paper here at the photocopy? Oh, no, no. We'll get a a professional printing service. Oh, you're not going to get Nate to do it? No, Nate's not going to do that. (laughs) 
you'd be a busy boy. But don't tell me we're out of ink again. Nate's really good at that. Tray three says it's empty. We need nightmare. another toner. Here's Need the thing. <laughs> we then came up with the idea of maybe me in a pair of tight shorts and and, and shoes uh, on the front cover as sort of the personal trainer because the book's obviously called The Far Too Personal Trainer. Oh, well, it, it paints a perfect picture. You, you poo-pooed the images yesterday. Oh. And the feedback was fairly direct. It was... Your legs don't look that great, and they're too hairy. Well, they look like... Let's let's be honest. It's Teen Wolf. It looked like Teen Wolf. Well, I, d- I guess it just depends what kind of legs you like. I mean, I like a lot of hair. Um, I that's mean, I very like kind no of hair either as right, well. So, I, I mean, we've like got options. Then we sort of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm really fussy. <laughs> Um, I'll take what I can get. So, uh, should we talk to Cherie first, Tommy? Is Cherie? Yeah, Cherie got some from thoughts on the book. Yeah. Hi, Cherie. Hi, guys. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. Cherie, did you see the front cover with my legs on it yesterday? I did, Wibs, and I must admit, it got me a little bit, oh, not to say, but excited. And right. I can't wait to have your book and have a girls' night in reading it with all my girlfriends. You're a sicko, so Shira. You can read it sicker. in a group. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, like a Yuck. book club day. Oh, like okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I yeah, mean, I'll just do it solo, I think. How yeah. sad for a group of fully grown women to sit around and read that book, honestly. It, it, a joy, a great, great storytelling and escapism. And as an author, I'm offended by your questioning. <laughs> you Cherie, know author. Um, we're going to make sure that you get a copy of the book. Thank you for calling through with such passion. When I got the feedback on the hairy legs yesterday, Kate, I decided to look around the office. We found Matt de Groot. Now, I'm going to bring up some images now, but what I want to do, we're running out of time here. Oh, oh wow. We're running Is out. that Matt de Groot? <laughs> we're right now. Is we he anemic? T- we can tell. <laughs> Hang on. We can tan a little. We haven't bumped We haven't bumped up the structure yeah, can here. You fi- can you but fix the colour and the size? Here's thing? the thing, guys. Within the next minute, I need you guys to make a decision between my legs and Matt DeGroote's legs because we need to hit print right now to get these 500 copies done. Right? If we want the book before Christmas... Oh, no, no, we got to, now that's not the one of Matt bending over. That's ridiculous. No, that's We're not using that one. Same tight red shorts Jesus. with the socks and shoes on. Yeah, but he's bending like it's just his backside. Yeah. Yeah, and you can see the little... Oh, now, oh. that's quite nice. Oh. I think that was the same position. No. Um, I'd we go the going. first one. Muscular. Mu- very muscular. Nice hands, Matt. Thanks, Kate. Mm. I'm comfortable with you choosing Whipper for this particular project. The, uh, the, oh, the leg- okay. The now, legacy piece is... This is not exactly what I... Was well, pardon the pun, but MDG, <laughs> with your announcement that you'd be leaving to think that we could hang on and your legacy would be your legs <laughs> is a wonderful time. Yeah. We've Literally got your legacy. Two photos... <laughs> Up here yeah. on the on the screen, and we're and we're comparing Whipper's legs with MDG's legs. Mm. I uh, I think we have to go with. Yeah, What's that? Yeah, I'm, What's I'm that? with you, Kate. Vote one Whipper over here. I think we might with a bit of kind of grading or color color changing. Okay. Right. A filter. I think we need to go with your legs, oh my MDG. Gosh. We've been out legged. We've got a team lunch today, Kate, and I'm comfortable sitting next to you. Are if you, you wearing pick shorts? This up a little bit further. <laughs> I can bring those shorts to lunch for you, MDG. <laughs> so, are we signing mean? off on MDG over me? I uh, think so. Is that what the general consensus was MDG? out there? Yes, MDG. Fitzy? Yeah, MDG. That's two from two. Jess? Anyone but you, okay. so yes. MDG, <laughs> Tom? Uh, yeah, two okay. votes, MDG. MDG, Nate, hit print, MDG's oh, legs, yes. make the front cover of the book. Wow, you're going to be a star, man. Oh, His God. legacy lives on. <laughs> It'll live on for about a month and then the book will just fizz out. What so. are you talking about, mate? <laughs> Before it's turned into a movie and they want your legs on the main stage, mate. Do you know what I mean? Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.